pulled the head off the hit miss engine uh, this afternoon and uh, spent a good amount of time scraping off old grease and caked on the muck from over the years. Stuff doesn't come off easy. Disassembled the uh, trip bracket and the exhaust lever and pulled out the exhaust valve and intake valve. Valves are in great shape and with the aid of my grinder with this nice brush here I was able to take off all the uh, caked on grease and muck and right now I have the uh, the head over in the electrolysis tank along with some other components. Uh, tonight I'm going to start rebuilding the igniter. Uh, for those not familiar with hit and miss engines, the igniter actually replaces the uh, modern day spark plug and these contact points they pop and a spark ignites the gasoline. So I need to get to work on this and it's a doesn't look intimidating but thankfully there's a, a nice video online of a gentleman who rebuilt one just exactly like this so if I forget or screw something up I'm gonna always go back to that video more later got the igniter disassembled a lot harder than I thought it was going to be this particular uh, rotating point is bent and I like to never got the thing out and uh, I don't know how it could come bent but uh, it is and it either have to be replaced or I'm going to have to straighten the thing because I don't think it will ever go back in the way it came out. Uh, this thing uses what's called mica washers, mica being a mineral and it's an insulator and I'll need to get a couple dozen of these because many of the ones that came off are broken and nasty and rusted. Okay, that's all for now. Good night. Started painting some individual components, I primed them and I'm finishing them off with Rust-Oleum John Deere color. I uh, was able to get the uh, igniter uh, component I needed, the movable point, the other one was bent. And the reason it was, I believe, is because the holes on these igniters where the uh, movable point slipped through were not uh, per perfectly aligned. So I had to take a drill bit and uh, hone that out a little bit so that it would go in smoothly and it would be uh, moving without, uh, without binding. Got uh, some parts in, uh, also uh, the, uh, the uh, governor's uh, gear, that one in there now is a missing tooth, reassembled my magneto. So tomorrow I think I'm going to start reassembling the head, putting the valves back on, and the exhaust rocker arm, and continue to work on the igniter. That's all for now.